Yes, today is Gender Day here at the UN Climate Summit, a day that acknowledges the disproportionate impact of climate change on women who make up 70% of the world's poor. Monday's event was hosted by WeCan, Women's Earth and Climate Action Network. The speakers were introduced by WeCan Executive Director Osprey Rai Lake, as well as Amazon Watch USA Program Director Leila Salazar Lopez. Alicia Kawia Teca, she's a Vice President of the Waurani Nationality from Ecuador. Mejor mundo Waurani, libre. The Waurani people lived uh, in a better way in the past. Our water, our environment was clean. Now, with the oil companies that are working in our areas, they have ruined everything. They have polluted the rivers. The children's skins are affected. They have different skin diseases. We cannot fish like we used to in the past in the rivers. We ate healthy fish, and now the fish is polluted. We just have a little bit of territory left for uh, the future generations to not suffer the way we have. We have to continue fighting for those territories. That is the only thing we have left. If we didn't fight, if we don't fight for our territory like our ancestors did, then we wouldn't be here uh, speaking at this meeting. Tantu Cardinal, native Canadian from the Tar Sands region of Canada. The government knew what was under the land in 1860. They knew that oil was there in 1860. So they took their time and it was a long, long process. A part of that process, and this is not just for the tar sands, but for all resources for taking us off the land, is that the children were taken away. And it was the law. If you didn't give your children up then you could go to jail and your kids would be taken anyways. Some people hid their children. So their, our ways, our traditions were kept underground in secret. So for generations, our language was outlawed. Our songs were outlawed. Our way of relationship with creator, with creative force was outlawed. Our names were taken away. I came to a say, I came to a say, I ring a how pay one who pay. Hey, hey, hey. Uma saudação inicial na língua do meu povo que significa feliz por estarmos juntos. So, this is a traditional song from my, from my people. And, it, and it's basically saying, we're, I'm happy, we're happy to be together. Eu sou Sônia Guajajara, né, do estado do Maranhão, que é uma região que está na região amazônica do Brasil. And my name is Sônia Guajajara, and my people are from the state of Maranhão, which is in the Amazon in Brazil. E eu trago aqui a and I'm here to bring the voice of indigenous women, in particular of Brazil, those who couldn't be here with us, and e all of them who would say the same thing, so that we could unite our voices. É porque, lamentavelmente, muitos de nossos povos, because the reality is that many of the, ainda, in many of the organizations, né, também, uh, there's not a space for women, and indigenous women, to participate. And so many times they feel suffocated for the words that they cannot say. Uh, Casey Camp Hornick, she's from the Ponca Nation in Turtle Island or the United States of America. We're living in a very destructive uh, area where I am. We have ConocoPhillips, we have fracking, we have earthquakes as a result of that fracking. We have fish kills, we have cancer rates that are astronomical at this time. We have literal killings. They may not be coming after us with their bayonets and their rifles, but they're coming at us with nuclear waste. They're coming at us with fracking. They're coming at us with pipelines that are, are carrying that filth from the tar sands where they're killing my relatives up there. And they're bringing it to you. Nina Kualinga, 
and she is a Quechua youth leader from the Sariaco people. I grew up in a beautiful place in the rainforest of Ecuador in Sarayaco. I don't have words to describe my childhood, but it was beautiful. I cannot ask for anything else. Um, when I was about seven years old, maybe eight, um, this representative of uh, an oil company called CGC came to Sarayaco. Uh, it was an Argentinian oil company. And I did not speak Spanish, but I saw that my elders, my mother, and all uh, the people in Sarayaco were worried and there was tension. I did not know what was going on. And I asked my mother, what is going on? Because everyone had gathered in uh, uh, this place we call Plaza uh, to talk about uh, what was happening and all the children were playing outside but I sat down beside my mother and um, I asked her to translate for me. Um, that was the first time I feared for um, that my land and the life that I knew was going to be destroyed. Patricia Gualinga? She is an indigenous Quechua leader from the Sariaco people in Ecuador. The destruction of nature is the destruction of our own energy and of our own existence here on Earth. And the destruction of our spaces is the destruction of the indigenous populations. And even though you might not believe this, this is your destruction. Patricia Gualinga is Quechua leader from Sariaku, Ecuador. You've just heard some of the voices at this remarkable event called Women Leading Solutions on the Front Lines of Climate Change, hosted by WECAN, Women's Earth and Climate Action Network. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, the War and Peace Report. It is Gender Day here at the United Nations Climate Summit. But when we come back, we'll be joined by the former Bolivian ambassador to the United Nations, the former Bolivian chief UN climate negotiator, Pablo Salom. Stay with us.